Good day and thanks for joining us. I'm Antika Rasava reporting from the Greek capital and here's what's happening. With elections nearing, the leftist Syriza party is consolidating its lead in tracking polls. Two surveys just published show support for Syriza running as high as 31.5 percent. That's 3.5 points ahead of the uh, conservative New Democracy Party. The same poll puts Golden Dawn, the far-right uh, extremist party, Party in third place with a consistent 10 percent uh, support base and that's startling remarkable if you think uh, and if you take into consideration the crackdown that the uh, party continues to face from the government in its bid to uh, put the party out of business the socialist PASOK party once the king of the polls here in Greece is down to 6.5 percent on a par with the Communist Party. A second survey also published confirms uh, Syriza's three-point command polling in that survey 23 percent against 20 percent by the Conservative New Democracy Party and 11 percent by Golden Dawn. Now ruling Conservatives are unnerved by these numbers. They feel their talk of a success story is is not paying uh, off because the faint signs of an emerging recovery may be there on the paper in the numbers they're seeing in the uh, finance ministry but this hasn't trickled down to the real economy and the real people out there they also believe that the escape of fugitive terrorist uh, Christodoulos uh, Xiros and the embarrassment uh, that Greece faced as a result of this, the international embarrassment has also weighed in quite a bit uh, as far as formulating a negative factor and a negative influence in, uh, for voters for the New Democracy Party. That is in part why we're seeing some of these surprise and spectacular announcements that we've heard over the past uh, couple of days, especially yesterday with the government coming out and announcing a 1 million euro bounty for uh, information leading to the arrest of this fugitive terrorist. Experts tell me it is unlikely, however, that such moves will opt, uh, will help uh, spiff up the image of the government within a short period remaining until these uh, European and local polls, the Conservatives and the coalition and their coalition partner PASOK, these critics tell me should instead be focusing on damage control the day after these twin elections. That's it from us here today. Join us here again tomorrow.